Today I'm here at Tampa Ship. We're gonna take a look at a couple of OSVs. One in particular that is Ice Class. And it uh, is probably unique in that it is uh, true Lloyd's Ice Class can cut through a meter of ice. The Polar Ice Class and the uh, shape of this work boat is similar to the one that was converted into Ragnar in Holland by Icon Yachts that came out of the shipyard and was listed for sale for 69 million euros. By comparison, this ice class vessel is a steel. It also would easily win a race. It was actually built in Canada and it was originally a search and rescue Arctic vessel. It was subsequently refit to go up into the ice to do research and it has a helicopter pad there for a Bell 212, a heavy helicopter. We're gonna start our tour here on the main deck aft, which is all enclosed. It was enclosed to accommodate all the research equipment uh, that they used in the Arctic. Uh, and this can be completely taken off or parts of it could be saved, such as the helideck. And it also has plenty of room to be an aircraft hangar, as you'll see. So this was a survey vessel. Yep. So they, 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 they pull a spread with compressed air yep. and they do seismic surveys uh, for exploration. To tow the airlines and the electrical lines that record the shock waves when they bounce back from the formation. The overhead for this deck, the way it's configured now, is actually, is, is actually this height here. On a conversion, you could certainly keep the forward section of this structure uh, as a uh, aircraft hangar and also to keep a couple of tenders, say 250 footers. Um, you could also keep the heavy duty uh, aft section of it where the Bell 212 helipad is. And you could uh, remove the midsection and have open deck. Now we're going forward on the main deck into what is uh, mainly crew accommodations. Fire protection, um, equipment like fire suits, and, and this is like a control room for the, 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 for the guns. Okay. To control the hoses and the line. All of these offshore support vessels are set up for long range and also high endurance. So they expect to uh, be at sea for 30 days or more. They have big walk-in refrigerators and behind the main refrigeration unit here is a walk-in freezer unit. This vessel was originally built as an Arctic search and rescue vessel yeah. in Vancouver, Canada. The vessel is currently arranged to support up to 39 crew and scientists and support personnel living on board for 30 plus days. So that means that the galley, uh, all the accommodations, the showers, all the systems, the wastewater systems, the gray water system, black water, heating system, air conditioning system are all set up for that level of personnel living on board. So that is more than we will need when this is converted into being an expedition yacht. So crew lounge. As expected, there are a lot of crew cabins. They're dispersed across uh, three deck levels. And some of these will actually be converted over to become uh, support areas when the vessel is repurposed. For instance, there would uh, likely be a crew gym, larger crew lounges. And I should mention that there is also a ship's hospital on board. And this will be uh, kept intact because that is a very uh, useful and practical thing to have on a long range expedition vessel. So now we are up on the bridge and these are enormous bridges. That was the navigation section that we just looked at there. Uh, walking forward here is a uh, list of the electronics that are on board. It's everything that you need to cruise the world and there is redundancy in all the systems on these vessels. Typically on a conversion, there's plenty of room up here to put in a lounge so that uh, the owner and guests can uh, observe and participate in the navigation and the uh, running of the ship. So the multi-million dollar question that I'm asked all the time is, how much is it gonna cost to convert this former polar ice class search and rescue vessel into a global expedition yacht with a helipad, a hangar, and all of the amenities that one would expect in a uh, world-class expedition yacht. Six staterooms at least, uh, plenty of toys, 
and uh, the endurance and yacht quality accommodations. Well, I can tell you uh, our calculations are somewhere between 15 and 20 million dollars for a basic global expedition yacht. And we'll leave it to our clients to do the math, but uh, if you're curious about this and would like to uh, contemplate doing such a project, please get in touch.